Hi, I'm Preston DeGuys, and in this video, I'll take you through upgrading PowerProtect Data Manager from version 19.4 to 19.5. Once you've downloaded the upgrade package from the Dell support site, you'll be able to log on to your PPDM server and use the gear menu to choose upgrade. Click Upload Package to transfer the upgrade file across to your PPDM server. The version 19.5 upgrade is around 7 gig, so I've sped up the transfer process here in my lab. It's also important to make sure that you use a browser that can handle such a large upload. For instance, Google Chrome can, but Firefox may produce an error. Once the file has been successfully transferred, PPDM will process it and get it ready to run an upgrade process. That will take a few minutes depending on the speed of your environment. I accidentally quit my browser while the upgrade was being processed, so we'll go to part 2 after I had logged back into PPDM. In PPDM I can go back to the gear menu and choose upgrade again. You can see there that the file has been processed and I can then click upgrade to start the process. Now once the pre-check is complete, we get a dialog that outlines how the upgrade will be performed. This will include a warning about taking a snapshot of the PPDM server if it's not running on a vCenter protected by PPDM. You'll also be prompted for the PPDM lockbox password before you can continue. Once you've entered that, you can click yes to start the upgrade process. Now the reason you don't have to take a snapshot of the PPDM server if it's running on a vCenter it's protecting is simple. It will coordinate that snapshot itself. Once you choose to go ahead with the upgrade, PPDM will do some initial processing before transferring your browser to the upgrade monitor. OK, so at this point the upgrade process is running. Now it may take up to an hour or so for the upgrade to complete, depending on the speed of your environment. Because I'm running PPDM in a home lab, the upgrade process does take a little while, so I'll be speeding up this part of the video. What you should see from the upgrade process though, is that at this point it's entirely non-interactive. There may be a lot of work going on under the hood, but it's all automated by the PPDM upgrade process. You can see as well that the first step PPDM takes during this upgrade process is to protect itself. 
giving you a rollback point should it be required. Once it's finished organizing that rollback point, it moves on in the upgrade process. The next step is to provide security updates to the appliance before moving on to upgrade the various packages within the system itself. After the packages have been upgraded, the appliance is rebooted, but your browser will automatically reconnect to the upgrade session post reboot. There will then be a data migration process that's performed, and then after that, the other appliances that PPDM may have deployed, such as the search engine, will actually also be upgraded for you. Once the additional components such as the search engine have been successfully upgraded, the PPDM upgrade wizard will be finalized and you'll be redirected to the login screen. And that's the overview of the PPDM 19.4 to 19.5 upgrade process. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the blog for more details.